Hello everyone, bonjour tout le monde and ahlan wa sahlan bil jamia. In today's video, we're going to be covering how to checkmate with a queen and a king. Um, it's, the same, it's going to be the same concept as we covered with our rook and king checkmate. If you haven't watched the video, you can click the previous one and have a look at it. Okay, so what we're going to do, so I'm going to give you some tips actually to make it so easy that you can checkmate blindfold. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pretend just like a cat pretends to be something, right? So we're going to pretend that queen is going to is going to give a check like a knight. Okay, of course, this queen will stay a queen and moves like a queen. So please do not jump the queen like a knight. But just when you put in that square, it's going to form like a knight check. Where is that knight check here? I just see two here. One and two. And why are we going to do that? Like I said, it's the same concept as the rook. So we're going to make the box smaller and smaller till we trap the king in um, basically the corner. Okay, so let me do queen to d3. And then can you see that is a check. That is pretending to be a check. Why do we do that pretending the check? Because most of the kids get to trap the king or they think they take in squares from the king but they put their queen beside the king and this way the queen will be taken so that's check king goes here i'm gonna follow him and that gives me another check with the queen okay and then the king goes here let's do this okay and then i'm again going to do a check Okay, the more important, even if you don't find the check, just make the squares or the box smaller. So lock the king in a small box. Okay, now if the king goes here, I'm gonna, this is already a check. I'm gonna do queen to g4. That looks like a check. Now, forced move because the king can't go here, he cannot go here, he cannot go here, or here, or here. He has to go to king h7. Now what we're going to do is queen to h5. And I locked him. I did also a pretending check. Now we are not, we didn't need the king the whole time, right? We didn't touch the king and please do not touch the king. If you're a beginner, don't need to touch the king. Just wait till the queen ends up or finish by trapping the king in two squares, okay? So please also remember to leave two squares for your opponent's skin. It's very important. He needs to breathe a little bit, okay? Now he's going to play here. I don't want to do that because that is a true a check, but that is a stalemate because that king is not in a check, but in the same time is his turn and he wants to play. Here he cannot move. So that we call it a stalemate, which we will be covering in the next video. Then I call the king. Hello, can you come to help me? And then the king is going to be coming. I usually draw some stars here and say, follow the, star, uh, the stars and reach the moon. Okay. And I will show you why you don't follow the stars like this. Okay. So let's go. King, king. And f5, h8, f6, h7, f7, and then here we have so many checkmates. Oh, sorry, there, there, five checkmates to choose. All of them it's check, and the king can't go anywhere. Checkmate, 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 and checkmate. Now, let me take when the king was in f2 king h7 don't do that please because you're gonna end up also with the stalemates you're taking all the rooms remember to leave two squares for your opponent's king otherwise he can't move you're not giving him a check and that is meaning we end up with a stalemate i hope you enjoyed your video and you learned something from uh, today's um lesson click like or hit the button like if you did so. Thank you.